Hey guys, I am so excited to show you the finished interior of this realistic house. I spent so long on it, I literally customized it to the max. I have decals everywhere, on the floor, on the counter, on the table. I did not make a speed build because you guys would actually hate me if you tried to follow it. I was jumping from room to room, deleting so many things. I don't want you guys to suffer through me trying to decorate this place. Now I will be giving you guys tips and letting you know how I did things, so don't worry. I'm not just going to show you and leave, so without further ado, let's go and side also if you haven't seen the video where i make this exterior i highly recommend checking that out because i won't be talking about any of that so let's go in and this is the entryway so as you can see probably immediately these floors are not normal this is actually a decal i put decals on the bottom of every single piece of this house so <laughs> you'll also notice the shiplap here so i highly recommend using some kind of texture like this it's super popular in a lot of american houses i guess at least I also made a custom storage thing here, just used a bunch of basic shapes and created these squares, put in the bins, and yeah, it looks like a little bit of a bench seat. There's also something you might notice on the wall. So first of all, these are custom wall sconces. I just used this base and then I added a couple of structural things on it. This down here is actually a decal. This, I feel like, completely changed the look. Like if the wall sconces were just there, it would just be like kind of flat looking but this changed everything i also made a custom little bench over here nothing crazy well i think this was a bench that i just put a basic shape on and this up here is custom obviously this is a decal i don't know how i feel about it i tried it out i found this from someone i mentioned this in my last video but i think every single decal that i use in this build is in my favorites i will show you guys how to get that right now just in case you guys were confused so yeah i'm not totally positive how i feel about this custom lighting thing um i've seen it in a lot of builds and i think it looks cool for pictures but if you are playing the game it might look kind of funny i don't know right here this is a custom table as well so these are actually decals it's just a basic shape and i have some structure things around it and then this front part right here is a decal and i decorated the top pretty simple and it looks really nice this wall back here is also a whole bunch of decals and i think it looks so cool obviously this plant is also it's just a decal this is something that people either love or hate but again the whole point of this was to make an ultra realistic house so i stuck with it so now going right over here this is the door to the backyard i didn't do anything i also didn't do anything to the basement which i'll show you guys right now it's literally just an empty room which i guess could be kind of realistic because a lot of people don't have finished basements so maybe i'll do that in the other video this is the only thing that i have sorry i should have warned you jump scare there's nothing in the backyard either so comment down below actually should i do a realistic backyard next or should i finish the basement also something that you guys will notice in everything here is wall trim i swear that makes the biggest difference in a house over here is the living room so the first thing that you might notice is this coffee table i think i used an inspiration photo from my pinterest and then these couches here are in game they're not custom but i did add pillows on the edges here because of this one picture that i saw it literally looked exactly like the couch but it just needed those little side cushions i also added some pillows on top of it and something that you may notice as well is the curtains are fake i do this a lot actually i love how it looks the only thing is you do have to like really either dig for decals this one is in my favorites as well it is a little bit blurry i don't know you kind of just have to play around with a bunch of different curtains until you find ones that you like so this is a normal plant in the glass vase but then inside of it i put a transparent decal of a bunch of leaves and i feel like it just kind of kind of made it pretty cool i feel like the biggest tip that i have for making interiors is built-ins they make the house look so just like right i don't know how to explain it but a lot of houses that you'll see have built-ins like especially in the living room or an office i just think like it just makes the place look right i i literally don't know any other way to say that decorations that i used on it are also very very simple and it's a lot of repeating a lot of like jars i'm pretty sure that's a custom jar i don't know why and then a lot of different vases and again plants also all the art that i use i don't think any of it's mine which is crazy i always use my own decals but they're very modern and simple i really think your decal choices make a huge difference in the way that the house looks so that's something to just keep in mind also you'll notice that my floor 
plan is very open concept, which is a very normal thing. Spend a lot of time on your floor plan. This one was a little complicated for me because it's such a small house and I was struggling with making sure that the bathroom wasn't facing a front window. I don't know, you don't want people in your front lawn just staring into your bathroom. Anyways, that's another thing. So going into the kitchen, this fridge is so fake. This is very, very, very not mandatory. It does add to the look, especially when you're just trying to take cool realistic pictures i feel like just put a normal fridge like don't bother with this this was this was a little bit extra you'll also notice that the countertops are completely custom this is something that a lot of people do i will say this also goes for the flooring something that you do really 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 have to keep in mind when you're doing custom flooring or custom countertops do it last like absolutely last you absolutely cannot do that first otherwise you're just you're gonna realize you can't put anything on top of the decals you have to put a basic shape down and resize it to as small as you want put the decal on top and then use the transform tool to move it where you want it but once that basic shape is inside of your countertop like you've moved it you can't really grab it again like you would have to move the countertop out of the way figure that out i don't know it's just complicated so do that last you also can't put any decorations on top you'll see what i did here i actually put this newspaper and the coffee cup on basic shapes and moved it into place and then up here you'll notice that the cabinets are not normal so i use the modern cabinets and i just put a bunch of structures on it i am still playing around with what cabinet looks best with the structures i also wasn't sure if i should use like the rods or the normal square shape so that's definitely something you have to play around with if you're already putting the structures on the rest of your cabinets it'll make it so much easier to do these kind of built-in random pieces another thing is to keep your decor pretty minimum a lot of people don't really decorate their kitchens like you'll see things like plants or just like little trays yeah you don't want to you don't want to go too overboard on that also little details like this pot faucet and then right over here you'll see i have a built-in dining nook so obviously this is all a bunch of basic shapes you can't actually sit on it but obviously you can emote ignore this i had to cover something up and it's still a little glitchy i think it's such a cute addition instead of just putting just a regular table like this just looks so so cute and cozy here we have a pantry which is something that i don't normally add in a lot of builds and i didn't really fill it up very much you could totally use way more transparent decals and make it super full i was just keeping it kind of simple and staged basically i love a good custom door whether it be for like the office or something like this for the pantry i think this is such a nice just pretty door and no one else will have it so that is the main living space and then we will go into the laundry room over here first of all i absolutely love these floors love 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 i'm gonna use them so much up here i used the cabinets again i love the look of a built-in laundry room i feel like i don't put laundry rooms in a lot of my houses but that makes them so much more realistic like every single house that you will ever go to has a laundry room so like just make a laundry room just make it and then going over here this is the only bedroom in the house but i was gonna put one in the basement i just did not get around to that obviously so right when you walk in we have a little bit of an office space because i had this little nook here i don't even think this is a real computer at all i just put a basic shape behind it you can kind of see and then i put a decal on top of it i just felt like having the classic mac background screen looked better than just a black screen so that's what i did i did the wall moldings over here too and yeah this is just the little entryway i love these purses right here i feel like they're classic this candle right here i realized wasn't the best option to put there because this curtain is the see-through one so it's it's kind of kind of glitchy also the candle's kind of large i don't know maybe i won't use that in the future and then over here we have the bed which is super simple that's something that i was trying to keep in mind with this bedroom is that if you're trying to make a realistic house people don't decorate their bedroom so much obviously it depends on the actual style that you are going for i will say though the simpler it is the cheaper it is which you'll see in the end how much this house is worth i didn't do anything crazy with the bed i felt like you could make a super custom bed like use a bunch of shapes and just make whatever you want but i really liked this bed and i felt like it matched the desk because i didn't do a custom desk either i think these pieces of furniture are already super realistic
realistic as they are so i just didn't go too crazy with it this wardrobe right here is completely custom it's just one big shape and then i put structures on it and these are decals which are in my favorites of course i will link in the description all of the decals of the most important things that i talk about so it's easier for you guys i only have a couple pages of favorites but in case you're watching this video a year in the future hey <laughs> um i did that for you and then in here is the only bathroom which again is very clean and simple i did do a custom shower i feel like you can get super creative with showers this one i had a pretty small space i wanted it to not look super cramped so that's why i made it custom the walls are decals of course floor again i felt like this was a super nice tile look so i kept it in here so this over here is wainscoting or wall paneling whatever you want to say i just used a half wall trim and i added some structures on top to make it look like that i will say it was kind of not hard i just had to count every individual block so that i made it even i also love the look of custom mirrors i hate how blue mirrors are so i feel like using a decal one just just makes all the difference and yeah that is the bathroom i honestly love everything about this build maybe i will do an actual like build with me so you guys can see the process more fully you will see when you're walking through the house you just you get so many prompts because literally everything is decals like so do i recommend this for everyone to do especially if you're like a role player maybe not but i definitely feel like you can do some of these things like don't hold yourself back it's really fun to experiment before i show you how much this build was i want you guys to comment down below your guesses the exterior was only about 70 to 80k i don't totally remember you can see how many decals i used so take your guesses right now okay let's let's show you 276 thousand dollars for this tiny little house with one bedroom and an unfinished basement that's kind of kind of wild so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this build if you did please give the video a thumbs up and remember comment down below do you think i should do the backyard or the basement first they're both going to be super realistic and i have some fun ideas for the backyard so let me know as always all my social medias are linked in the description if you want to go give those a follow and i will see you guys in the next one.